Okay, for my candles, I'm using Freedom Soy Wax. It's a five pound bag from Amazon. I'm using these silicone cupcake liners. I did get these from Hobby Lobby. There is 12 that comes with this in this little container. And then for my candle wicks, I am using, this is 100 cotton wicks. And I ordered this from Amazon as well. For melting my wax, I'm just using this little hot plate in this little metal container that I ordered off of Amazon. It was a kit for candle making. For the color of my candles, I'm going to use these wax dyes. And today I'm going to go with yellow. I did order these from Amazon. I usually like to melt my wax up to the 500 ml, which is like 16 ounces. Now that my wax is melted, I will just dip this candle wick into my wax. I like to put it through the popsicle stick. Kind of shake it off. And then come over here and stick it down into the silicone liner. Okay, my wax is melted down. We can just take it off of the burner and let it cool down. The scent I'm using comes from Hobby Lobby. It's in this Baked Pleasures collection, and I'm going to be using the Sugared Vanilla Shortbread. So my wax recommends putting in your scent when it is at 160 but we're at 153 and I like to pour around 140 so I'm going to go ahead and put in my scent that's the vanilla shortbread and I will stir this for like two minutes okay now we're around 137 so i'm going to go ahead and pour now i still have some left over and here is what i'll do with that now using the wax that I have left over, I will pour it into the silicone mold. So I will take my heat gun first. To clean out my container, I will just take my heat gun and heat it up. Then I will take just a regular paper towel, stick the paper towel in there. ready to go again. I do let these set for 24 hours. Now it's time to make the icing for my candles. So I use this same Freedom Soy Wax. I'm going to use white for my icing. 
Now that my wax is melted down, I'm just going to let this cool down and get to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. While I'm waiting on my wax to cool down, I will go ahead and take the molds off. Now taking a large freezer bag, and I think this is a 20 ounce cup, so I'm going to use a 20 ounce cup and the wheel in number 32. And I just take my scissors and I just cut the tiniest little piece. For the wax, you will need a large heat proof bowl, a spatula, and a mixer. Now I'm just going to pour my icing into that heat proof bowl. The scent for my icing I'm going to use is this uh, Christmas tree. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to add about a quarter of this once the icing starts looking like regular icing then you know it's good to go Okay, now I'm just going to take my spatula and place some in the bag. 